Hello, welcome to the Auto Alex channel. Before we actually went live with filming, I said to Rory, who's behind the camera, uh, how do I intro a video like this? I have no idea because I've never been in this situation. And uh, Rory quite rightly said, be honest, tell you exactly that. Uh, the video that you're about to see will be, I'm going to say it, probably the most important video that I'll ever make on YouTube, potentially one of the most heart-wrenching, eye-opening videos that you may watch on YouTube as well. This video is all about perspective. It's about family, sadness, overcoming adversity. And the reason why is because we're gonna meet a young guy called Matt Pollard, who not only him, but his family are going through a really, really bad time of it. And he reached out to me. He actually emailed me to say, can you help? bring a smile to my dad's face because his dad has been the rock of the family recently. They have a MX-5 that they share. So he basically said, I want the car to get tarted up and I want to be able to enjoy the car with my dad to go to some shows and spend some quality time with my dad. So that's why I'm here. Uh, the reason that you guys are here watching this is because Matt's story is so important for everyone to watch. We're gonna head to the pub, we're gonna meet Matt Pollard and um, hear his story, cheers. A few months ago, I ended up getting rushed to hospital. No one knew what was happening, really. I just had a really bad headache and I felt, oh, I was throwing up. And then three days later, when I can remember, I was in St George's Hospital, which is in like, central London. Um, and they, they just said I've got a brain tumour. I had two brain surgeries. At that point, I couldn't walk or, or do it. I couldn't eat myself. Like I had my dad fed me and stuff. Got out of hospital came home and they told me it would be like a four or five week wait to know what, what it is. Um, and then I went back to St George's, I think six or so weeks later, and they uh, just said I had stage four brain cancer, which is, it's called glioblastoma. Obviously, uh, the whole time I was hoping it wasn't going to be cancer, it wasn't going to be like a high stage, but they pretty much told me as bad as it could get. Like you. you you can't hear much worse than that when you're 19. And then me being me, I looked up on the internet and made everything even worse. Of course, yeah. Um, I mean, it said like, your, your chance of being alive after six months is 20%, so from your diagnosis. There probably wasn't a day in the hospital I didn't cry. My dad stayed in the hospital every night, or they took it turns with me. My mum stayed there at night, my dad stayed there at night. She was terrified really. It's not something anyone wants to hear, especially not a 19, but I think the way you deal with it is it's only as bad as you make it, if that makes sense. I'm still going out, I'm still seeing my friends, I'm still getting stupid tattoos. <laughs> so I can't complain too much because yeah. I'm still here and I'm still breathing and Indeed. eating. So And drinking beer, and drinking even though beer. you're technically not really supposed to. Yeah. But that's not where the story ends, is it, for you and your family? No. So. Then I got home and a couple of weeks later, um, my mum went to hospital, she felt really unwell. And, and then a, I think a week after that, we found out my mum has cancer as well. Um, so she's been transferred and now she's staying at the Royal Marsden herself. Um, so some bad luck recently, but like I say, it's only as bad as you make it. Talk to me about uh, your your sister and your dad because they've they've been your rocks really for you and your mum. Yeah. So my my dad. I mean, <laughs> you couldn't really have a better dad. Um, he's still telling me to do stuff. Not even just telling me. He's making me do stuff. Um, he he puts me, my sister, my mum before himself all the time. Um, and. Yeah, I mean, he, he takes me out, does everything that, anything that we can do, he, he will do for me. If, if he had the, like the funds and, the, um, and I was able to, he would take me on a private jet to America today if he could. Um, and if that meant he would go hungry for however long he'd do it. Um, so yeah, and then my sister, Pretty much the same story. She would do anything for for me, for my mum, for my dad. Pretty much your heroes at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Always have been. Always will be. The thing that really kind of strikes me about about you, Matt, is that 
<clears throat> you emailed me, didn't you? And the subject line that I'll never forget was detail and brain tumor. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the story goes that you bought that MX-5 yeah. with your dad about a year ago. Yeah. And apparently that was my fault. Yeah, so it was all I'm, your fault. I'm sorry to your dad. And you didn't message me with a sob story or anything like that. Tell me what you wanted to do for your dad. Um, I just, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's all right, man. It's all good. Uh, I just wanted to do something nice for my dad, really. <laughs> just because the amount of stuff he's done f over the past couple of months and years, um, he deserves something yeah. happy and nice and something that he doesn't have to do anything for and that he can just accept and appreciate. Because yeah. um, your dad was self-employed. Yeah, and now he, he can't work my mum can't work and my sister's not working because otherwise we only have one person to take me and my mum about um, and before obviously all of us drove now I can't drive now my mum can't drive so they're they're sacrificing themselves for us really and what you want to do to say thanks to your dad is to well for someone me and friends to take your MX-5 away tart it up yeah and then you and your dad can go and enjoy some car shows. Yeah, this that's, summer, that's right? it, yeah. But in the meantime, obviously your dad's probably gonna be watching this. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to your oh, dad? Face not to without face? crying. <laughs> just thanks for everything and thanks for being such a good dad, really. Yeah, just big love to your dad. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like And my mum and my sister and yeah. my dog, everyone. Oh, you got a dog as well? Yeah, a little spaniel. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. For people watching this, potentially going through a similar situation, what's your message mm. for those people? Um, you're owed nothing and you can't feel sorry for yourself. There's no reason it's you. There's, there's, there doesn't have to be. You can't sit there wishing it wasn't you or wishing it was someone else because it's not fair for it to be anyone. So um, I guess you just have to make do with what you've been given. And if you're waking up still breathing and uh, with family, then you can't wish for any more really. I don't know what the future holds me. I never stop taking chemotherapy because it's a, uh, malignant cancer it, it doesn't stop they can't operate on it it's, it's at the base of my spine about there so they can't if, if they tried to take anything out I, I'd be dead so they, I just have to keep taking the tablets they give me and hope they do what they're supposed to do for as long as they can and uh, I've noticed you've got a few tattoos as well yeah are, are these something that you've had for a while no these might be terrible life choices but they also might well they're not terrible life choices because as much as they probably would be in any other circumstance, I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't care what anyone says that. So you did these post up because you thought, F it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. My parents are definitely not keen, um, especially mum, sorry mum. <laughs> sorry mum. But um, yeah, there's plenty more to come Good and stuff. probably plenty more stupid ones. Have you got any um, car shows in mind that you want to get to? Any and every, any, any that my dad will drive to. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, he's like a, Sorry, Dad, but you don't like to drive very far, do you? I think he will now. Yeah. Well, he will have to now. because He's I got will... no choice. No, yeah. Should we eat? You hungry? I am hungry. All right. Rory, Let's anything else? Food. Anything else to add? No, that's good. Yeah? All right. As long as Rory's happy. As long as Rory's happy. Yeah. He's like my work wife. <laughs> he really is. If I've got a problem, I'll phone him up, and then he'll usually have a solution. Except for when there's a drone in the tree. Uh, yeah, there's... yeah. So Rory's actually crashed his drone into that tree behind here. Yeah, <laughs> so the drone is still in the tree and we're trying to find a tree surgeon uh, to get it out. <laughs> but we're not gonna worry about that, we're gonna have some nice food. <laughs> what, this drone? <laughs> All right, I'm coming down. I'm bringing the drone home, boys. Okay, so Rory and I have travelled up from Matt's place, the pub we were just at, to Saunders Detailing. This is Barney Saunders. Good to see you again. Yep. Um, so you 
have volunteered to sort Matt's paint out because it needs a bit of love, mm. um, but we're ideally not going to give it a full respray, are we? Yeah. Because yeah. time is of the essence. It is, So yeah. you've had a look at it. What are your initial impressions? Do you think we can get a good result in like three days? If we, if, if we try and preserve the paint that's on it uh, and give it a gentle wet sand, and we should be able to machine polish it out to save it. We'll have to touch in a few little bits and bobs, I think, but... What do you make of these bubbles? What's all that about? It looks like blistering, I've been told. So I think we should be able to sand them down and then if they pop through, we can just touch them in and, and flat them back off. Um, and we should get a pretty good finish on it. And in terms of rust, it's not too bad, is it? No, it's not bad at it all. It just needs a bit of uh, Saunders detail and loving. A bit of tighten up. We're actually going to Germany tomorrow, so you're going to have this car for a few days. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I said to Barney what we were doing, he was like, yeah, I'm on board, bring it over whenever. So thank you to Barney. Support local businesses. He's very young, but he's also very good at what he does. So that's them. Go check them out. And yes. the next time we see this car, it will be transformed off, no doubt. Yeah, she'll look lovely, the girl. All right, jobs are good. All right, Rory, it's time for us to go home. Over the next three days, Barney and his team worked tirelessly to ensure the transformation of this little MX-5 from ugly duckling to a car worthy of being crowned one of the best in the UK. Okay, so it is a few days later, as you can see, uh, Matt and his dad Andy's MX-5 is now on Taylor's brand new lift that you installed on the weekend, especially for this job. By you? myself. By yourself. By myself. So very well done. I glued it to the floor. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> also, a very well done to Barney from Saunas Detailing and Tom and Lou as well. Mm. You've done a right number of this. There's a lot of polish on here at the moment. It's quite hazy. We're not going to reveal it completely, but tell me very briefly what you've done, how many hours you've spent on it. So we've, uh, we've done our best to preserve the paint that was on the car. Um, we've spent about 30 hours on it. Yeah, sanding, polishing, detailing. Tim's done a lot of work on the inside. This looks amazing. And it saved this car from needing a respray. Meanwhile, Rory, should we have a look at other parts that we've got? So, Boffy Racing, spoke to them, Daniel, good friend Daniel of mine. They have kindly donated these Team Dynamics wheels. They are amazing. I'd be super happy with these on Phil. We've got um, service parts from Boffy in this box. BC Racing, again, massive shout out to you guys as well. Um, this is the same coilover set that I've got on Phil. So that's going to be going on soon. And then Rory, we've got another box. Well, two kind of packages over here. I spoke to my good friends at Tillet Racing and uh, Matt and Andy, you've got yourself some carbon fiber bucket seats that we're going to be installing later. There's a whole bunch of other stuff going on as well. Um, we don't have much time. I'll tell you why later. So um, I need to go to a tire shop and get some Falcon tires put on those wheels. Time is very much against us. So let's crack on. And so a quick drive to a local garage to fit a set of ZE310 tyres donated by Falcon would ensure that Matt and Andy's beautiful new wheels would be fitted with an equally good set of tyres for plenty of mile munching. Right, so we're just back from the tyre shop uh, and I'm desperate to see what these look like. Oh, <laughs> they are they really look nice. so good. What else have you done? to this um, over the weekend? So, taking the suspension off, yeah. it had the front suspension was knackered, mm -hmm. the shocks were leaking, it was just no good. It had coilovers on the rear, yeah. and they are also knackered. They're really badly rusted and seize completely, springs are rusty, again, shocks leaking, so they're all off. Brakes have been removed, pads, discs and calipers. So you've also undersealed? So I've undersealed in all of the arches and anywhere where there was some slight surface corrosion. Luckily, this one's actually really clean underneath. Yeah. Um, it's this had a is, bit of work in the past, This is one which of is the cleanest nice. MX-5s that I've seen. I've also removed the rocker cover yeah. and sent that off to be powder coated. Steering wheel's been sent off to be retrimmed. Yeah. Um, also, Andy, uh, Matt, your son has been quite sneaky. He's obviously given us your car. And uh, Matt, we've also been quite sneaky because we said we were going to do shocks and give it a polish. We took a bit more than that. A little bit more. We just that. couldn't help ourselves, could we? Because it's an MX-5 yeah. and they are like the best car in the world. I'm yeah. a BMW man at heart, but I do love an MX-5. Oh, I've the, got a soft this, spot for an MX-5. This looks so good. Um, anyway, enough talking. We have got a hell of a lot of work to do. 
So let's crack on and let's make use of your brand new lift, which is oh, so exciting. I fitted this especially to do this car. So this will probably be the first and last time that this gets used. Yeah, because I glued it to the floor myself and it'll probably fall over. <laughs> Thank you again, uh, BC Racing, for sending out these. All I did was like speak to one guy, Danny. I was like, this is a story, this is what I want to do. He's like, yeah, okay, we'll send them out next day. And then the following day, they were at your unit. These were actually were, the first yeah. thing to arrive, weren't they? Yeah, they were really fast. Can you um, speak to Danny again? Because I really want to set these for the 6 Series. No. Thanks, Danny. This. Oh, look at that. There we are. I'm not going to say it, but I can't reach. What? What? No, wait, we're in. Tell me you can't Oh, gosh, Jake. Oh, this is quite high, isn't it? Oh, God. If I have to make use of my public liability insurance, I'm not going to be impressed. It's all right, we'll just use mine. So this was one of the brake pads that I took out. Yeah. Um, it was in the front, and as you can see, the brake pad material has completely come away from the backing plate. So it's quite lucky that we're changing them, really, because if that happened while he was driving it... Yeah, they're knackered. ...would have been bad news. Yeah. So we've got some nice EBC pads to go on, provided by Boffy Racing. Yeah, thank you again, Boffy. Yeah. Boffy have literally just helped us out massively, so... Respect to you guys. If you need anything for an MX-5, performance parts and stuff, go check out Boffy, okay? They're a smallish team, small company, so go support small companies. A bit like Saunders Detailing as well, because this looks amazing. And TaylorMade Tat. Don't and forget TaylorMade Tat. Don't, don't forget TaylorMade Tat, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Because what he's done is, um, what have you done? Um, not all right, really. I had a couple of cupcakes earlier. Yeah. With the brake change well underway, the freshly retrimmed steering wheel was dropped off by Valentino from Vpex Trims, followed shortly after by the freshly powder-coated rocker cover, courtesy of Joa Ansel Alloys. Again, these awesome guys donated their time and expertise to the project, so you know who to come to when you want to spruce up your car's interior or wheels. Do you like that? That looks nice. That looks nice. That is officially tarted the engine bay up. So we've had a look at quite a few of the parts that are going on uh, Matt and Andy's MX-5, but the thing that I've been really excited about is um, the carbon fibre bucket seats from Tillet Racing. So I just want to just chuck them in, just test fit them, and we can have a proper look. These are actually, interestingly, the same seats that I'm going to be having in Phil. So Archie and the guys at Tillet, thank you so much for hooking Matt and his dad Andy up with the most amazing seats for a Mark 1 MX-5. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you're not even ready for what these look like, Rory. Oh my god. Oi. And you wanna know the best part about these? They're really light. Let's just see what they look like. We're not gonna fit them quite yet because we've still got the steering wheel to do and all that jazz. And the good thing is that you can use these with standard seat belts as well. Because of the time, um, they didn't have the foam inserts yet. But these are super, super comfortable anyway. Oh, it feels weird not having a steering wheel. Oh, oh look at that. And then that will go on like that. This is going to look a million bucks. Oh, Rory, I cannot wait for Matt and his dad to see the finished Mark 1 MX-5, um, which we should probably we should probably just show it to them at Mattwood, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it at Mattwood. Taylor, are you going to Mattwood? Yeah, of course I'm going to Mattwood. Are you coming to Mattwood? Yeah, of course I am. Are you coming to Mattwood? Yeah. Are you going to Mattwood? Yeah, of course. Yep, that's right, Matt and Andy. If you haven't already guessed, you guys are going to Mattwood, which is your very own car show. The reason it's called Mattwood is because your name's Matt and we're doing it at Goodwood. The guys at Goodwood have actually donated the day from 10 till 2 to host your very own car show. Matt, you told me that you wanted to take your dad and your MX-5 to car shows, so why not take it to your very own car show? This Sunday, the 14th of August, you are going to Matt Woods and you're going to be joined by so many awesome people, celebrity guests, car enthusiasts, you name it, they're all going to be there. Also, um, your sister's currently recording this, so say hello to your sister, <laughs> give her a wave. Anyway, from us, we'll see you this Sunday at Matt Wood. While Matt and Dad Andy presumably pick up their jaws from the floor, tickets for Mattwood at the legendary Goodwood Motor Circuit this Sunday the 14th of August are now on sale. Confirmed special guests include 
Mike Brewer, Richard Hammond and some bloke called Oliver, Rory Reed, Matt Armstrong, Jack McNeil and more, so grab your tickets before they sell out. On top of this, I've also kicked off a GoFundMe page for Matt and his family to help enable them to make memories and have experiences they might not currently have the means to do. So please donate following the link below. Ticket sales and ad revenue are going straight into the same pot. And finally, to the Pollard family, Matt, Andy, Mum Lisa and Sister Liv. This is not charity. This is simply us, a collective of car lovers, banding together to show our love and support any way we can. So if that means that we can get you that private jet to America, then wouldn't that be amazing? Alternatively, just think how many tattoos we could get Matt. Um, sorry Lisa. To Matt, Andy and Liv, we all can't wait to meet you at this year's greatest car show, Matt Wood.